Right, hello guys. Uh, this time I'm here to show you how to do some multiplication, okay? Just in case you're having a bit problem remembering the method because it has been a while ago, okay? So we've got two sums here that we're going to do and I'm going to talk you through them as to do them and if you are stuck, hopefully it will help, okay? So first we're going to start with this one, it's the easy one because we're only multiplying by a single digit. So we've got 124 and we're going to times it by 3, okay? So what we do is we work from the right along to this way, the same as we do with all our sums, okay? So what we do first, rather than doing the whole number times 3, is we break it down. So we're going to do 3 times 4, which we know is 12. So we put our 1 tenth in the tenths column and our 2 units there. The next one we're going to do, we're going to move on to the next digit, which is a 2, and we're going to do 3 times 2, okay? So 3 times 2 is 6, but remember we've got a 1 on the doorstep, as some people like to call it. So 6 plus our 1 is 7, okay? Then last you've got a nice easy sum, 3 times 1. 3 times 1 is 3, and we get our answer, which is 372. Brilliant. Next we're going to move on to this one. Now this one's a little bit harder, because we've got, obviously, 124, the same number, but times by a two-digit number, so it's 23 this time. Now we start off exactly the same, okay? We can't do that in our heads, it's too big a sum. So what we're going to do is we're going to do our units first. So we're going to times this number by 3. Let's be a bit quicker because we've already done it. So we know 3 times 4 is 12. Then we do our 3 times 2, which is 6, plus our 1 is 7. Then we do our 3 times 1, which is 3. Okay, so we have the same number, obviously we've done the same sum. But we don't want 124 times 3, we want 124 times 23. Okay, so next, this is where we do something a little bit different. We have to times by this as well. Now remember, this isn't 2. This is actually 2 tens, which means we need to times this number by 20. Okay, to do that, all we have to do is put a 0 here and then times our number by 2. Because this 0 makes it 10 times bigger. And we know that 20 is 10 times bigger than 2. Okay, so whatever you times it by here, put a 0 there and it'll make your answer right. Okay, so 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, make sure you get your numbers in the right columns, okay? So that's the first one you're doing, 2 times 4, so that one goes right next to the 0, and 2 times 2 there, and 2 times 1 there, okay? Now we have our two numbers, and it's simple as adding them together to find out our answer. So 2 add 0 is 2. Then we've got 7 add 8, which is 15, okay? So we put our 1 on the doorstep and our 5 there. And then we do 3 plus 4, so which is 7, plus our 1 there, which is 8, and then 2 plus nothing, which is 2. Then we get our answer of 2,852, okay? Just to let you know, if you were times in by a three-digit number, then what you would do under this one, you would do two zeros. Okay, if you times it by a thousand, three zeros, and so on. Okay, thank you very much for that. Hope it's helped you out. And if you've got any more questions, all you have to do is ask me in class.